Hello friends, so welcome again and this is my new project Garment Shop Management System and I have developed this project in Node.js, Angular and MySQL. MySQL version I am using is 5.6, Node.js version I am using Node version 14, Angular I am using Angular version 11, right? And MySQL, uh, the main purpose of MySQL is for storing the uh, data, it's a uh, database because and we have developed all of the APIs in the Node.js and all of the front-end development we have developed in the Angular. The Angular is communicating through MySQL using the Node.js APIs, right? Angular can't connect MySQL directly. So we are using Angular, uh, sorry, Node.js in between the Angular and the MySQL for sending or receiving data from Angular application, right? So these all technology stacks I have developed this project garment shop management system right so for running this project you need to run two separate uh, things the first thing you need to run the uh, node.js application using node space server.js for angular application you need to run the ng serve right before running these both commands you need to install all of the npm all of the npm packages right once you install this npm packages then you can run this commands and this server and node service server server.js then after that you know that angular application runs on the port 4200 so this application i am running on the port 4200 right so for running this project you need to open the browser and after that open the url local lost quran 4200 once you open this page this page will be loaded here you can enter your user id and password and after that you will be able to access and admin panel right so the user id is admin and the password is test one two three four once you log inside the system you will get this admin panel you can see this is all of the menu items available here these are all are the menu if you want to hide the menu just click on these three icons that menu will be hidden and your page width will be main part page will be broader right okay so this is the garment report here you can see all of the garments right you can see these are the garment reports right if you want to edit any of the garments just click on the edit and after that you will be able to update the details and after clicking on the update details your data will be saved into the database right Suppose if you want to delete any item, just hit the delete button and that item will be deleted from the database, right? So you can see the 10th number item has been deleted. Currently, we have only 9 items available. If you want to add any garment, just click on the add garments page and you can enter your details here. And after that, that will be saved into the database. So your product type. So currently you can see there are two product types, but this is a dynamic drop down. You can add any number of product types from the MySQL database. Here product code, title, total stock, cost for item and descriptions. You need to enter all of these details and click on the save details. Once you click on the save details, then all of the details of this form will be saved into the MySQL database. Right. So this is the add garment page. This is the add cells. These are cells dashboard from here you can sell your garment items right so before that you need to enter the customer name first suppose i am hurry and enter the customer mobile number once you enter the customer mobile number just click on the start sales once you click on the start sales then you will get the order id this is order id 70 the customer name order date and customer mobile here you need to select the product first so enter the quantity and add item you can see the items are getting added into the cart you can see right okay so you can see here this is a sales id this is a product name price per unit how many units customer has bought and the total cost so these all calculations are getting added to automatically you don't need to perform any type of manual calculations right so this price you have entered at the time of product entry and this units you have entered from here and this total cost is getting calculated automatically even this cost is also getting calculated automatically suppose if you want to delete any item just click on the delete button and that item will be deleted from the cart right so 
once you complete your cells just click on the save cells details once you click on the save cells details then the all the information of this cells page will be saved into the database and you can access it later also so let me click so you can see this has been saved into the database and this all details are coming from the database right this is a cells report and it's so all of the cells which you have made earlier right so you can see this is the last cells on the name of furnishing once you click on this arrow icon you will be able to see the cells so you can see this is the cells details and it's all are coming from the database right if you want to delete the cells just click on the delete and that item will be deleted from the database right so this is the cells report right this is a logout once you click on the logout all of the session will be destroyed and you will not be able to access the internal admin pages right so you can lo uh, log out from here or either from here right once you click on the logout you can see you has redacted to the login page once you log in then you will be able to get the admin panel right logout so this all functionalities are developed inside this project garment shop and every system and as i told you earlier this is a node.js mysql and angular based application and this is a mini project so if you need more functionality in this project just put it into the comment i will incorporate those changes i will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos of the latest classes thanks for watching the video thank you very much